Yes, family. Sorry, we've been a couple minutes late, but we are here and we are live, right? Live right here on the Facebook page. So make sure you jump in, populate. Wait for everybody to kind of get here in a couple minutes. Uh, see if everyone's going to jump on. And uh, hopefully everyone's okay. And uh, we'll start with the making sure everyone's okay, checking in on that. <sighs> okay. Getting people populating in there. Hey, everyone, what's going on? Hey, Ahmed. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Is everybody populating now? Here we go. Sorry, we're a couple minutes late, fam. Been working. It's been a long day for all of us, I'm sure. More coming. Hey, Paul, how are you, buddy? Hi, Nikki. Hi, Sherry. Well, come on in, fam. I know that uh, I know that you're home. <laughs> At least in the United States, you are. Canada, probably too. So, ah. Uh, Let's get in here. Get everybody going. Tag your teams. Tag everybody else. Tag every ace you know. Tell them to get in here. No more wasting time. No more excuses. We talked about this on Tuesday. Let's get involved. Let's get in the game. Okay, we got we got opportunities in front of us. If you have any questions, go ahead and pop them in the chat room. I will see them. I will do my best to answer everyone I can. Uh, let's see. Who are we talking about? Hey, Aaron. What's going on, buddy? Hi, Candace. Hey, Brent. How you doing, mate? I'm uh, I'm doing okay, Jessica. Thank you for asking. Thank you, Britt. Uh, I'm I'm doing okay, safe and secure. That's the good news. So far, I got all the teams up. Uh, the good news over on ACCOM, we we got the team secured. Uh, they've been secured for a couple of months. Uh, again, I knew about the the virus back then a couple of months ago, uh, and so we got them secured, and we're moving into our new office finally on Monday, uh, to a more secure location. Uh, also, do a better internet, but also too, so we can continue to grow. So, thank you. That'll that'll be done as well. So, the team over there is doing well. The team in Pakistan is doing okay. The team in Utah is all bunkered down. I made sure everybody has got uh, enough foods and supplies and everything to work remotely. Um, we shut the office down officially yesterday as far as everybody coming in so that we could all be safe for the darn time, which is part of the government order anyways, but we are preemptive and we are strike. Um, uh, yep, the National Guard may be coming home. That That is true, Miram. That is uh, something that we've all been watching. Uh, California National Guard was put on alert a couple days ago by the governor of California. Um, I have uh, have been concerned about that for a while, but um, I got until late last night that uh, Germany is looking at possibly going to um, a, a forced closure for the streets because people aren't quite complying. Uh, obviously, if you've been watching some of the the reports coming out today on the news, you know they're they're shutting down Florida finally because the spring breakers weren't paying attention. And if you've been paying attention, and some of the things we talked about before, okay, this thing you know is indiscriminate. It doesn't care whether you're male or female. It doesn't care whether you're old or young. It doesn't care. And, you know, we already have temporary travel bans. Okay, cool. This is a great opportunity for us to start diving inside. So for those of you who are in the coaching crew, you know this, and I will make it public here as well. Um, to, uh, today, I offered up the JUMP program. The first three days are for free. Uh, so everybody can get at least some sense of stability. It is a program that normally is a paid program. It's for free. You can all have it. I will put the link in here here in a second as soon as I can you know get two things working at the same time which you know so far I'm not doing really good at that um, I'll get to see if I can get that done for you right now uh, let me pop this over as soon as I can find it where did I put that oh, wow where did I put that <laughs> well oh uh, let me get this for there it is okay whoop there it was oh, darn it where to go there it is okay let me get this for you this gives you the first three days um, there you go for free so that everybody can start, you know, there it is. Um, everybody can feel some sense of grounding because we need to get more grounded. This is a really great time. Now I'm going to be different than most coaches out there. And, and, you know, I'm pretty harsh on these coaches that call themselves coaches because they have an Instagram profile and not because they don't have valuable to say, because everybody has something valuable to say, I guess. But when you're repeating other people's stuff and you really haven't done the work over a body of time and period, shut up. Okay. So let's, let's do this. Let's do some real work tonight. Is that fair fam? Part of the work we're going to do is going to sound probably oxymoronic and different to what you've been told or what you've been advised to do. So, um, Hey David, how are you buddy? Um, Hey Robin, how are you? Um, 
Hey, Daniel. How are you, sweetie? Nicole, everybody. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I know you guys are all nervous and scared and busy and whatever you're doing in your days, but thank you. Um, let's do the difference. This is not a time, in my opinion, both personal and professional, for us to sit around and sing kumbaya like a bunch of these celebrities are doing. Oh, let's just make everybody feel better. This is a perfect time to dive into the uncomfortability or to what I call the beautiful darkness to dive down into the depths of where we are because the darkness in us, and I'm not talking about pitchforks and you know, you know, a red guy with horns or a fucking pitchfork tail or some bullshit. I'm talking about the darkness, the fears, the anxieties, the deep concerns, the traumas, the hurts that have kept us from, and something I talked about earlier today on one of my other go lives was that, you know, two months ago, not even 30 days ago, everyone was like, uh, God, you know, I hate to get to traffic. I hate to get up and go to work. I hate to do all this, da, da, da. And now when it's been taken away from you, that's what you gravitate back towards. Oh, I'd man, I'd love to go to work. I'd love to get up. I'd love to. Why? Because it felt safe. That's because that was when we traded in what was really going on here a long time ago. Now, obviously the ACE community, wherever you are in your journey on the ACE community, you've at least woken up enough to go, hmm, the doing part of me has been replaced by the being part of me. And so in that trade, the things that I was willing to settle for, i.e. going to work, traffic, you were doing the, the humdrum of life, when it was taken away from you and you got slapped back into what am I really interested in, all of a sudden now, everyone starts to freak out and say, well, gee, I wanna go back to work, I wanna do this, because now we're forced with that beautiful darkness. And it's beautiful because yes, it's scary, fam. You know, down there is fear, anxiety, trauma, pain, rejection, guilt, shame. Yeah, I get it. But isn't this the time to do that? You see, it's not about being more light. That's just retarded. How do you be more light? The only way to be more light is to pull more of the darkness out. And I'm not talking about good and evil. I'm not talking about, you know, these archetypal things. I'm talking about down here, the places that we all know the truth. We know we're full of shit. We know we're scared. We know we have anxiety. We know we don't want people to find out we don't feel not good enough. We know we still think we effed up. We know all of that down here, but we do everything we can to distract ourselves, push it down, push it down, push it, push it, push it down, including going to work, driving things, because then we feel like we're doing something and we're accomplishing something and we're grinding and we're doing all this other stuff. Bullshit. Stop, family. Do yourself a favor. For those of you who have the guts to do this, and believe me, I say this with the utmost of respect, it will be the scariest fucking thing you have ever done. But the rewards are ad infinitum. They are infinite. Because the only way to be more light is to clear more out of you where you hold things in dark, where you hold the fear, where you hold the anxiety, where you hold I'm not good enough, where you hold I hope they don't find out I'm a fuck up. I hope you don't find out I'm full of shit. Well, let me be the first to admit, hi, my name is Travis Fox and I am full of shit because everything I think I know up here was taught to me by somebody else. You are too if you're willing to admit it, fam. You have been gifted a reprieve from the grind, from going to work, driving in traffic, having to pay the bills, da 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 Now, I'm not talking about, gee, in the time of thing you want to be with the ones you love. Start with this one, mm -hmm, right here. You see, we always say, well, I'm gonna be with the one I love. I gotta be with the one I love. I gotta be with the one I love. Hey, knucklehead, you're with you 24 hours a day for the rest of your fucking life. If you're not willing to love you and open up and pull out that darkness in you and face it with the beautiful honor and intelligence and integrity that it takes, you are doomed to continue to say, well, I need to find my other half or I need to find this money because that'll make me happier. I need to get this house or I need to get the 6A-29 because then I'll be blank. Bullshit. The world has done a reset button for you. You have been gifted the gift of all time. That's why you heard Brian and Brandon and I on Tuesday saying, stop selling shit. That's just part of the distraction. Dive in here, but don't come out that you've got the answers. I don't have all the answers. The jump doesn't have answers. The jump was gifted to you all because it's something that I can give that I know scales and repeats and has done so for 30 fucking years, but I'm not giving you the answers. Am I giving you a step-by-step -step equation? Yeah. 
I'm asking a series of nasty questions and giving you exercise and activities and awarenesses that you can do to determine what works for you. You bet your ass I am. But do I have all the answers? Nah. No. We are in unprecedented conduct of times, family. We've created so much history this week, it's almost scary. Scary. Let's get to the truth, okay? I can no longer participate in the rah-rah bullshit. I am so done with watching the community members out there playing fucking life coach or this coach or that coach. Fuck you, you're not a coach. Coach this, coach here, do this. You don't have to do the jump, I don't care. But stop telling everybody you got the fucking answers. Nobody does. We're making shit up as we go by the minute, fam. Isn't this a beautiful time? And I know you're wondering, well, Drew Travis, when's it going to end? What are we going to do? Do you. You are on the journey of a lifetime. The end for us is always the same. It's never going to fucking change. It's not. None of us, not a single one, will get out of this fucking planet alive. So now you get to look now. You have this online opportunity called Ace Initiative. You have the three of us knuckleheads, Brian and Brandon and me, who all came together and said, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. It can be different. Or you can go running back with your tail between your leg and do the same stupid shit you did before because you think it gets you somewhere because you're worried about your money or your bills or blah, blah, blah. Well, I hate to break it to you, family, but all that's being reprieved. It's already happened here in the United States. They've already done it. All the shit you seek to avoid when you're doing and your distraction. I got to get my social media down. I get my ad content down. I got to da 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 And I'm not saying that doesn't have importance, but let me ask you something. Is that what you're really interested in or is that what you're running from? It's okay to be running. I know I ran most of my 20s. I was the great Dr. Fox. I got more letters before and after my name than I have my fucking name. It's fact. Now, I don't say that to sit there and be self-depreciative or, or self-edifying um, on the reverse side. I say it to go, we all do this. But if we're really going to do this family, then let's do it. But let's do it for real. I can no longer idly stand by and sit there and watch all of this rhetoric and horse shit of, oh, everything's great and you're great and did lifestyle. Da, 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 bam. Fuck you. Be honest. Be vulnerable. Be vulnerable. Now is the time. I invite the jump only because it's the only thing I can offer because my wealth is in a series of skill sets that I have acquired over 30 years and help thousands of people with. And that's what I'm great at. Ironically, it happens to be my passion. Hmm. What's your passion? What are you afraid of in the dark when the demons come? What's this thing thinking about all the time? Where's the anxiety and the bills and the worry and what if and da 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 and keeping up with the Joneses and all this other shit? Do you know how to stop that? You know, one of the things I used to ask when I was on the PGA Tour, hey, Sal, how are you? I used to ask all these pros, right? Being an ex pro myself, right? But they got to the show. I didn't make the show. I didn't make it. I chose not to make it on my own. But I used to ask them this question. So if you know the golf analogy, you'll get it. I used to say, hey, do you know how to make a birdie? And of course, every one of them would say, oh yeah, I know how to make a birdie. I'm like, great. Do you know how to stop making bogeys? No. Hmm. Isn't that where we should focus? All of you know how to do an adjunct in some form or another, and you're getting better at it. Whether you're a, a 2A, a 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 6A, 2 dash 2 doesn't fucking matter. You're always going to get better, but you already kind of know how to do it. ACOM is evolving, changing the rules because Amazon said we have to. Okay. Ace University is getting stronger, and better, and faster. Why? Because it's going to be real. But let's start right now. So let's start with the darkness. So I offered you guys the first three days. It's three days. If you don't like it, don't use it. You want to give it to somebody else? Give it away. I don't care. Give it to as many people as you think is necessary because those first three days, you're going to get smacked in the teeth in a beautiful way, really harshly, but you're going to get backed up with clinical, applicational experience from someone who's really done it, someone who lives it. Am I perfect? Don't you dare fucking believe I am, family. I am just as fucked up as you are. I just know I am. Do you? 
Do you have the courage when you're out there talking to people in these times to stop selling bullshit and just say, hey man, I get it. You know, one of the things that's cool about my community is X. One of the cool things is I can go anywhere on the planet and I know there's an ace somewhere. Do you think that being a part of something bigger than yourself is an innate human instinct? Oh, hell yes, it is. And not something to be part of the cool kids or not cool kids, but something that really bona fide, balls to bones drives you. You get up every day and you can do it. I do. Well, can I tell you the truth? Do I like running ACA Ecom every day? No, there's days I want to jump off a fucking bridge. Yep, I'll be honest with you. I get tired of the sick of the bitching and moaning and shit and fucking crap worried about when I've got staff over in the Philippines who make 200 bucks a month and live on dirt floors and we're bitching about shit. It fucking makes me disgusted. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have an opportunity to be there, but for fuck's sake, people, do we have an opportunity to look right now and see who we are? You bet your ass. And you don't think I'm doing it? I do it every day. I'm sequestered up here in the mountains. I'm stuck too. Nowhere to go. Right? I've been here for two weeks working on the fractionals so we can get all these stores and everybody's uh, money saved so they can get back to square. I'm not saying it's beautiful, but isn't it time we ask some really nasty questions? What are we afraid of? You afraid of losing some money? So what? We've all lost money. The world's going to show that right now. There's no way around it. Right? It's going to happen. We live in a debt society. Okay, so what? What does that have to do with you. Oh, Travis, you understand how to pay my bills. How the fuck do you know what I understand? You asked me a question. Have you asked someone you talked to a question? Hey, how are you? And when they say fine or they say I'm okay, do you press just a little bit more or you just go cool and not really engage? Because you're afraid they might actually talk to you about something that might bring some shit up for you. So the question really becomes, are we really going to want to dive into ourselves? Right? You're welcome, Rob. I, I have a habit of being direct. <laughs> Uh, you're very welcome. I, I've been accused of being direct a lot. <laughs> Mirror, I go even further. When, you know, I, I, have a, I have a problem with that statement, not because of you, uh, uh, Miriam, but the statement. When you, your statement says, uh, when you find your passion, you realize no one can take that away. I'd go one differently if I could be so bold, family. Stop trying to find your passion. Be it. Passion isn't something you find. It's not something that was left on the side of the road and you pick up like a hitchhiker. You become it. You are it. And if you don't know how to do that, isn't that something worth looking at? Take the first three days of the dump. See if that jams with you. May not. If it does, dive. It's free. Don't give me the bullshit of time and money. I've taken your two biggest excuses away now. Time, money. Time away. Take away. You got all the time in the world. The world ensured that now. It's not money. Gave it to you for free. Got the crap. What you do with it's up to you. You don't have to find your passion. Be it. Because for some of those people out there that do have this virus, and this is their last days, I fucking promise you, their passion is a breath. Their passion is one more look at a sunset that I'm looking out that window. Their passion is, damn, I wish I could have fucking gone and done, climb Kilimanjaro or gone to Fiji or done something. I wish I could have somehow not been on the traffic every single fucking day. Bet you they're passionate. They didn't have to find it. What's the difference between us and them? Nothing. Choice. Choice. Do we choose to be passionate or do we choose to keep doing the same stupid things? I say only stupid because we know we're doing it. You know you're doing it. Come on, cut the crap. You guys are all highly intelligent, educated operators from around the globe. My job is to invite you to look at that at a depth level you've never looked before. It is the passion that I am in. It is the reason I joined Ace. I don't know diddly shit about a magic. I know that it works. Brian and Brandon have taught me more about it than I'm shit. They've forgotten more than I'll ever know. I know that I'm a good CEO. I know that I'm a, I'm a pretty good leader, getting better. All of you are helping me get better. Thank you. I do appreciate that. You help me refine every single day. What is most important? Customer service, contact, making sure the community is strong, that they know where we're going, that they understand the plan, that they can see the vision. Behold, my people perish for they lack vision. 
for all of you who read the Old Testament. All right? Boy, they see where the eyes cannot see. What a great saying that one is. So let's dive into that. I'm not trying to be a downer or depressing, but I really want to ask the questions that no one wants to ask because I, I just can't go on anymore listening to this fake coaching crap, right? I can't do it, fam. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's wrong. I just don't see the value and keep posting stupid shit on Instagram. Everything's going to be great. Let's raise our vibration and doggone it, people like me. Man, shut up. Shut up. Now is the time to dive hard. Where have I been afraid? Where do I need to take the weeds out of my garden? Where have I been too cowardly to look and admit that I'm scared? Yes, men, I'm talking to us right now. Men, we are such douchebags. We're so afraid to admit that we're scared because someone might find out, you're a pussy, man, you're a pussy. Fuck you. If you're not scared now, you are truly asleep. And I don't mean fearful scared. Scared because it's going to invite you to look at something we've never looked at. What's it like to be vulnerable? Because we all are now. But I believe vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. I believe vulnerability is a binder, not a repeller. I believe vulnerability invites people to be vulnerable. And I don't mean vulnerable like, oh, doggone it, I'm just a wuss. I mean vulnerable to go, it's okay to be scared. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to go, I don't know what to do, but at least I know that I don't know. But I do know that I can look inside and I can check out where I've been holding myself back. Because family, for the first time in our known history, since the, the bubonic plague back in the 1800s, we are having a global reset button. Boop. Just like that. And we're all participating. How fucking cool is that? It is truly bigger than us because we're all creating it. When, a oh when, a oh when are we going to snap out of our self-hypnosis that everything is about getting to the next level and leveling up and grinding and doing that? Fuck, man. If you do that shit to me, I promise you I won't respond anymore. I don't have the time or energy for it. I want real questions. I'm offering everything I have. I know Brian and Brandon are in their ways too. Each of us has very distinct gifts, which is what makes the partnership work. We're all very uniquely different, but we stay in our fucking lane and we pre appreciate the other. Sure, I can market. Brian's better. Sure, I'm a, I can be a CFO. I've been a CFO. I've been a line producer. Odom's better. I'm a better CEO. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. What a beautiful thing to cherish and honor that your partner next to you can do what he does or she does. And when they do it, you go, I'm with that motherfucker. That, that person's banging because they're in a line. They've done the work. They're diving in the darkness and they're not sitting around going, oh, well, you know, how am I going to pay my bills and how do I do my next ad? Show the fuck up, family, as you. Ask the question, where am I afraid? Go watch the go live I did today. I'll be doing another one tomorrow morning. I brought them all back because that's what people asked. Okay, I'll do it. Where are you afraid? I have not seen one person yet tell me what they're afraid of. Not one. Doesn't mean you have to, but you could. What would it be like if you did? I know you're wondering about it. I mean, for fuck's sake, we all are. Shit. Because right now, there is no fucking guarantees of what the fuck is up. We haven't even seen the worst of this yet, at least not in the United States, Canada. I can't speak for Australia. I talked to the leaders down there. 50-50. But if you do the math, family, it's a virus. It means everyone's going to get it. No different than the flu in some form or another. Isn't it time you start becoming immune here, but more importantly, here? Immune. And I don't mean strong like, fuck yeah. I mean strong. I mean centered. Whether you believe in energy work, or whether you believe in spirit, you believe in Christ, Allah, Yahweh, Krishna, uh, the Buddhist enlightenment, the universal mind, you call it whatever you want. I'm not here to tell you what to call it. I'm not that smart. But let's agree there's something bigger than ourselves. We've all kind of got a hold of that. That's what the ACE community is all about. But isn't it time we start going, hmm, in order for it to be bigger, to be more light, to be more shine, you must dive into the darkness. One cannot exist with the other. Otherwise, how would you know what is light if you didn't have dark? It'd just be all fucking light. It'd be like blinding light. You couldn't see shit. No different than when it's all dark, you can't see shit. 
there has to be that beautiful balance of light and dark where there's a time to be that, but there's also a time to dive. This is one of those times, in my opinion. Doesn't mean you have to do it, fam. Just one guy, right? Just one guy. Jessica says, I'm afraid of making mistakes. Yeah, that's a big one. I'm afraid of the unknown. Absolutely. I'm afraid of speaking what I'm afraid of. God, fuck, that's a huge one. I'm a, Raquel says, I'm afraid of being un, unvulnerable, mostly. <laughs> that brilliantly said, by the way. Anna says, it seems so simple when my eyes are wide open, but I see how clouded I've been. I was the hater. I can see that now. Oh, aren't we all, right? I'm really working hard now to see other people's successes as amazing to everyone. Unity is very important. I see that. Tamara, afraid of not fully taking advantage of this credible and uncertain, incredible situation. What? I don't even know what the fuck that means, right? To help others. To, uh, to help others find time. I'm sorry, I know my reader's on. To find, find myself. Where Did you lose yourself? Tomorrow, you didn't lose yourself. That's what I was just talking about. Enjoy time with the family and peace and, of course, business. I agree with the opportunity. Sorry, I misread that one tomorrow. I couldn't see it on my readers on, so I'm kind of having to modulate here. Yeah. How do you help others? I'm not talking about narcissism. I'm not talking about self-centeredness. I'm not talking about hoarding. I'm not talking about fear mongering. I'm talking about you help yourself by saying, you know what? I'm scared too, like all of you are doing here. Mucho applause. Unbelievable. So I love about this community is you're willing to jump that fast, right? Vulnerability is a strength and not a weakness. Being afraid of showing who we truly are and desire to be. A fucking man. Corey Wells. Ace architect. Graduate. Trained in myself. I know him well. Good dude. I'm ever actually afraid I will tomorrow die tomorrow and haven't lived my life and do what I need to do for the people who believed in me. I love that statement, Sala. So let's dive in it, family. We're going to have a little bit of church up in this motherfucker. Let's get it on. Y'all ready? Let's get it on because it's just my game, Huckleberry. This is something real to work with. Let's actually dive. So I'll start with that one. I'm afraid to die tomorrow and haven't fully lived my life. Bingo. It's called the thin membrane of fear. It starts from the moment you were born that you realize that your body and your mind will one day be returned back to dirt, obviously called earth or death. Absolutely. That, that fear in and of itself does what's called spidering and it, ma it manifests itself into your relationship, your behavioral patterns, your self-talk, all of these things only because it is so ingrained in us to be scared shitless. And it isn't the reptilian brain or fight or flight, which is a mechanism that is a part of us. That's true, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about what if, and the Corey dovetailed it, what if I'm actually willing to be who I am? What if they judge me? What if they find out I'm fucked up? What if they find out I've been hurt, molested, divorced, had kids, I did abortions, I fucking lost money, I hurt people, I lied, I cheated, I was a piece of shit. I judge myself. I don't think I'm good enough. I might fail. That's living, fam. You don't live for the people who believed in you if you don't believe in yourself. And if you don't, welcome to the fucking party, pal. But isn't that a place to start? Isn't that now to go, hmm, you know what? I got into this business because I was looking for away from my freedom. But the truth is I really don't believe in myself and I was hoping someone was going to tell me how to do it because if they tell me how to do it, then I won't fuck it up because if I fucked it up, because I always fuck it up because I fucked it up in the past because I got in another MLM and I fucked that money up and I bought this and I fucked that up and I bought that course online and that was a piece of shit. And I did this and I did that and I've never been able, only thing I'm good at is a fucking job because I'm just a dumb shit. How many of you got that fucking dialogue going on? Hmm? I'm afraid of losing what I have, my family, husband's job, oil field. And guess what, Meredith? You can't control a damn bit of that. Can't lose. Can't lose. You walk around with a fear mentality, you'll create it. Shadow subconscious runs the show. If you don't know that, take the first three days of the jump. Find out. Learn the truth. Learn what really is the truth. Not some rah-rah shit on Instagram. Right? Robin. I'm afraid I will not, well, actually that's Mira. I'm not afraid I'm not be able to do good for others and I want to make the difference and be worth it. Okay, great. You can't do good for others because good is a judgment. So family, one of my favorite things that we work on in architect land, and I want all the aces to get this, is good and bad are subjective, which means each individual person will determine what's good or bad and none of us are going to agree on it. That's why religion was created, to create a macro plate, a similar plate that we could all agree on. 
right? And even then we don't agree. In fact, if you look at it, the most common reason for war in the history of man is my God's bigger than your God. So we can't even agree on that. So when we start getting into what's good or bad, we're placing value judgments in ourselves, And then you must ask yourself this question. Where did my set of rules of what I judge good and bad get programmed in this from? Well, you're going to run into a thing called the four pillars, mother, father, religion, and state. Okay? Mother, father, religion, state, culture, where you grew up is what that means, right? You're going to look at that programming. If you don't understand how that works, you're doomed to repeat it because that's how this thing works, right? Robin says, I'm afraid of my, uh, my power to with this, uh, with my power, without the sermon and the response of the video comes with that. Well, that is interesting. Thank you, Robin, for taking a big jump. That's a scary one. Holy shit. Corey, Miriam, all of us have said in some form or another, I'm afraid to be who I am. I'm afraid of my power. And I don't mean power like I power, I rule over you. I'm talking about your ability to create, your ability to create your life, your ability to own your life. And more importantly, the unabashedly, unashamed part of ourselves to go, I'm enough. I'm a fuck enough. And if someone doesn't see it, okay. You don't have to hate them. You don't have to curse them. You don't have to wish them bullshit. You just go, okay, it's not what I'm aligned to, but I know that I'm enough because one day, and you've all heard this statement, it's not the fear that we're not good enough. It's a fear that if we truly owned who we are, we couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. It's been proven studies over time and time again. People who win lotteries overnight literally go back to being poor. Why? Because they don't believe in the value. They don't believe they earned it. They don't believe they're good enough, smart enough, accepted enough. They're just something got lucky. It's been proven time and time again on the lottery studies. It's been around for a long time. Wow, Robin, that's a super big one. Proud of you. Afraid of being judged for what I believe. Whoa, shit, yeah. Card carry and fucking member. Go back, oh, I hate to say this, go back 30 years, Dr. Travis Fox, clinical hypnotherapist. What does Travis do? Oh, he helps people fucking get hypnotized to change their life. Wait, you're doing witch doctor shit. You know how many people have threatened me? You know how many people have tried to hurt me? You know how many fucking midnight vigil anti prayer sessions I've endured for the judgment of religion? Now look around. Everybody in the fucking mother thinks they're a hypnotist. Hilarious. I understand that. Here's the best part we're afraid to be judged by others. Here comes the darkness because we've already judged ourselves. And they're a reflection back to us on the outside of what our judgment of ourselves looks like. And we don't want to see it because we can do everything we can. We are all master fucking powerful hypnotists. We hypnotize ourselves into believing and doing stupid shit that is actually accomplishing something. And we know damn well it's not any more aligned than a fucking bar of soap. But we do it because we don't want to look at the judgment of ourselves. And here's how you know that. Again, if you do the first three days of the jump, you'll figure it out. If you don't, here's the quick tip. If anybody talked to you the way you talked to you in your head, you wouldn't have any fucking friends. Can't get an amen on that. If you talked to, if someone talked to you outside of you, the way you talked to yourself in your head, you wouldn't have any friends. You tell everybody to pound sand. Start with that. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. Tina says, uh, I'm afraid I might have to leave this world before I have the opportunity to start a scholarship program for the homeless, before I have the opportunity to leave a legacy. Whew, I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of life. Bingo. You starting to see a theme here, fam? This is why we've got to dive in the darkness because we're all afraid to really live. We all talk shit on Instagram. Oh, you got to be free. You got to live the lifestyle. You got to go be 6A-29. You got to join ACOM because you can live the lifestyle. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Jump. Right now, Tina, if you want to start a scholarship program, start it with $10. Jump. Everything we do on our, that's why it's called the jump training. Right? I didn't name it. It came to me fucking divinely, a university, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I call it architect for simplicity. It's called jump because everything we do in our life, we have to jump. You have to jump into ACE. You have to jump on this call. You have to jump into bed. You have to jump out of bed. You got to jump in the shower. You got to jump in the car. You got to jump in on this phone call. Jump, 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 jump. So everything starts with a jump. So fucking jump. If you're afraid of it, that is an invitation of your heart to says, get off your ass, Tina and start the scholarship program. You don't have to know, and you won't. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a fucking adventure, and you wouldn't do it anyways. But start. Ask the question, who's interested in starting the scholarship program? Because I am. To help people, because it's a passion of mine. And just fucking be vulnerable enough to own it. Watch them show up.
like that. Thanks for sharing, team. That was ballsy. Nathan, I'm worried about my followers. Feeling like my words, uh, my words of traveling full time and preaching that I'm going to do it without an end date. I'm just going to make some new videos showing people that it isn't that easy, that I'm struggling, and that the world's events are impacting me, myself, and online. Well, maybe you could stop looking at them as followers. Nobody follows anybody. It's the dumbest fucking hypnosis in the history of life. Nobody follows anybody. You scroll by. You're not following shit. Everyone's trying to lead. I, you know, in order to be a great leader, you got to learn how to follow. Not this, that. Nathan, you have an opportunity to show people by being if you want to. Has nothing to do with it this hard. Has to do with this is the hardest journey they're ever gonna take. Whether they do it with ACE, whether they do it with Ecom, whether they do it jumping out a fucking bridge, bungee jump, it doesn't matter. This is the hardest journey because this is the darkness. This is where we're all scared shitless to be. We've all just done this. Look at these beautiful fears. You guys are so fucking awesome. I'm so fucking proud of you guys. It takes balls to sit here and literally call it out and call yourself out to a bunch of people that you quote unquote know, but don't really know to some douchebag who comes on every Thursday, who happens to be one of the co-founders of the company. That is unbelievable. You don't think that has value. This phone call alone is worth the value of their entire month in ACE because where else are they going to get it? If I see one more celebrity sing some fucking stupid ass song, I'm going to punch him in the teeth. Shut the fuck up. Embrace the darkness, come to the fear, come to the vulnerability, come to the fucking anxiety, because that's where we're gonna learn. You're not gonna fucking learn when it, everything's kumbaya and we're all going, yeah, this is great, this is awesome. And let me dispense some advice, cause you know, cause you're all a bunch of dumb shits and I made it and you didn't. Fuck off, mate. So bullshit. And you know it. And you know you're better than that. And that doesn't have to be a judgment. It's an invitation. It's an invitation from your architect's heart, your heart down here to go, isn't it time I took a look? Isn't it time? Choice is yours. I'm afraid of losing loved ones. You will all lose your loved ones. Embrace it now. That's the thin memory of fear I've been, talk fear I've been talking about. It comes with us all. Death comes for us all. There is no way around it. You don't know when you're going to die. If it isn't this virus, it'll be the next one. Shit, in the 80s, it was HIV. In the 90s, it was SARS. And then, the, the, uh, uh, what's the one I like? Zika virus was the one in the 2000s. There's always going to be something, family. You are going to lose your loved ones. I lost my father six weeks ago. It happens. But not everybody lives. The question you could be asking everybody is, are they ready to really live now? Live free. Yes, you may not make a billion dollars, but even if you had it, do you really give a shit? Because everyone says, oh, I'm going to be a bean, I'm going to be a baller. Shut the fuck up. Half of you don't even know how to set up an LLC correctly. So stop acting like that and ask what's really important. Ask what's interesting. Here's a simple one. I'll give it to you. I ask this question all the time. If I gave you a multi-million dollar house, all the beautiful cars you could drive, the best clothes money could buy, but you could never have an intimate relationship for the rest of your life or... What if I put you on a beach in a shack with just enough money to get by, but you woke up every morning in bliss and happiness with a partner and a group of people who wanted your best and highest, most experienced journey you could have before you leave this planet, which would you choose? If you're like most, it's number two. Here's the bullshit. You haven't chosen yet. You say that because it sounds cool on cocktail parties. Fuck, I'm guilty too. I still do it. Have I mastered it fully? Fuck no. I'm full of shit just like you are. At least I know I'm full of shit though. At least I know I'm working. I go, nope. If I only had 30 days left, would I be doing this? Nope. And I've been eliminating shit out of my life left and right. <laughs> Boom. Because it's time. Fuck. Mother nature demands it. She's pissed. She's pissed. Don't blame her. For all of our intelligence as a species, how is it strange and is it odd that we are the only intelligent species that cannot ecolom economically balance ourselves with our environment, yet we claim to be the masters of the fucking universe? Huh? Huh? How the fuck does that work? Makes no sense. Let me jump back over here. You guys are doing awesome. I don't want to ignore anybody. I'll stay on longer if that's what it takes. Let me go back and make sure I got these questions. Emily, I'm afraid for the agriculture industry as my family plays a small role. There is no such thing as a small role in the, in the agriculture industry. Feeds milk, 
Feed mills are behind on orders for farmers with the shit we are going through in the world. Personally afraid to see myself and my family fail for all the things we're working our hardest to achieve. Emily, it's going to hit every industry. It already has. It can hit online, it's going to hit offline, it's going to agricultural, transportation, economic, not financial, spirits, it's going to hit us all. Okay. We can't have global deconstruction. It'll be anarchy. So know that part is true. Might have a reconstruction of how those, those governments operate. That's fair. So what can we do? Ask the question. This is a perfect time. The greatest thing that was ever said, find the need and fill it. Well, if the agriculture industry is having a hard time, the feed mills are behind, find the solution. Offer them help. What can I do to help? Go down there and figure it out. You might just be the next fucking great agricultural baron. Go for it, Emily. I dare you. Corey, we're here as architect naces when you're ready. Yep. Uh, Kayla, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to go all in. Not being in the uh, not being in gives me excuses to fall back. Oh wow. Boom, Kayla, five stars. Great one. I'm afraid to go all in because what if I fail? What if I lose? What if I look like a fucking idiot? What if I break it all? What if I fuck it up? What if I and if you don't go all in, you'll never know what going all in feels like, but you'll know what going half ass feels like because you've already done that too. We've all done it. But damn, I take fucking super balls to face that fear. Dive deeper, family. You guys are kicking ass tonight. This call is what we need. So grateful that those of you on the call had the guts to show up. Those of you who didn't show up, you're missing it. I'm sure you had better things to do on Netflix because you have so much time. Kayla, hoorah. Who fucking ra? You're absolutely correct. What if I fail? We're all going to fail. We're all going to fail. It's okay. Failure just means more information. And I know that doesn't feel good because your ego goes, well, I failed. I'm not good enough. And just, again, judging ourselves. You didn't fail. You just didn't get it all in, which means it's an invitation when you hit the failure point that you're not going all in. So let's look in the darkness. Where are you holding back? Where are you afraid? How come you're not willing to go all in? What is the fear inside you that is keeping the fear inside the room? Kayla, that's the best one. Good job. Way to push it because we all go through this. Let's go all in. You guys want to know why I look passionate all the time when I'm on this call? Because I'm fucking all in. I am literally all in. Brian and Brandon, all in. You guys have no idea. We all go through it. But isn't it better to go through it together? At least we have a community. Doesn't mean we have to hang out and barbecue. Doesn't mean we have to agree on everything. No, it wouldn't be that interesting to be interested if we did. But we could agree on a basic concept. We are all a part of something bigger than ourselves. And we chose that. And Ace is a part of that too. Thank you, Kayla. Well done. Haley says, I'm afraid of what, uh, um, of what, uh, with the change when I truly experience growth, what will I have to leave behind in order to distance myself from where I want to be? Man, letting go is a mother, isn't it? Saying goodbye. Oh, super brutal. Why? Because we believe it's goodbye. We believe we have to lose in order to gain. In order to have to let go in order to go to something else. Man, maybe you do and maybe you don't. It depends on the situation. It is contextual, of course. But if you come from a space of it's all going to be the same, we're all broke and dead in the end. We all leave the planet buck ass naked with ain't jack shit. It was all just the adventure theme park of our life. And you got to experience it. You got to experience it all. Love, hate, pain, joy, exhaustion, exhilaration, shame glory. Isn't that the journey of a lifetime anyways? Haley, your fear just becomes because you're trying to control the unknown as we all do. And yet you already know because you have a thing called a compass down here called your architect's heart. And that's what Ace invites you to look at. Thanks for sharing that. It's super dope. Paul. Paul, I am the harshest judge. Card carrying member, brother. I got a whole freaking army of them up here. That's why I invented Architect in the first place. Why I went through the journey myself. Still do it. Amen, amen. Thank you, guys. Oh, catching up the amens. Awesome. That'd <laughs> be a ginger raging on their asses. Yes, you would, Brett. I have no doubt. I'm doing it. Okay. Jump, Paul. Awesome. 
I found you because I found you because of what you believe in. Shine bright for the globe to see. Amen, Kirsten. Way to say it, Jessica. Yep. Oh, thanks, Corey. There's the link if you guys want it. You're welcome, Nathan. Yeah, like Aaron says, you got to lead thyself. Then you have to ask the question, who's leading? Be mindful who's leading the show. Remember, the shadow always wins. Shadow subconscious runs the show family. Ah, thanks so much, Jesse. Uh, allow yourself to lead. Yep. Legionnaires, why not? And here's a funny thing. If nobody follows, who gives a shit? It's still your journey. You're leading you. <laughs> what a concept. You can be an audience of one. Learn to be okay with yourself. Learn to be comfortable being alone. There's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Right? I had to learn those differences. When I was younger, I was afraid to be alone, but it wasn't, I was never alone. I was fucking around thousands of people every single day. I was on tour six months at a time, nine man crew, blah, 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 blah. But I was lonely, but I couldn't tell the difference. Maybe you can take a look at that. Uh, we are our own biggest critics. We are our master black belt and ass kicking motherfuckers. Hi, my name is Corey Wells and I'm full of shit. <laughs> Hi, Corey. Welcome to the party. I agree. You're so ready to live. What are we waiting for, family? These are the things that should be on your vision board. These are the things that should be the goals and outcomes you seek to experience is to live your ass off because this is a great reminder that there's always going to be something that's going to kill you. You know what kills you the most? It isn't the COVID virus. It isn't Corona. It isn't SARS. It's this motherfucker right here. It kills your spirits. It kills your emotions. It kills your dreams. It kills your relationships. It kills everything because it's all about staying fucking in control. And here's the illusion family. It never had control in the first place. And if you don't believe me, take the first three days jumps and mind fuck yourself. You'll see. Take my word for it. Experience it for yourself. Okay. I picked the island. Amen. Brett, the hut. Yep. I'm afraid of being me. Boop. Guard carry a member. We all are. Because if we were really ourselves, holy shit, we might be that happy. We don't have a framework for what happiness really feels like. We think it's about monies and cars and how much, how many people you can fuck and be with and kind of oh, bullshit. Because when you get to my age, you've done quite a bit of that. And you go, well, uh, it was interesting. It wasn't that interesting. Okay. What's interesting? I want to go climb Kilimanjaro at 48 years old. Why not? Never done it before. Did it. What a great experience. I've invited three other people to go. They've all gone since then. They've all had the same experience. Why not? I wanted to go see a real lion out of the Serengeti before human beings fucked it up. I literally was 10 feet away from one. Holy fucking shit. I was literally present. Cool. I wanted to go live as a nomad with the Hadza Bay tribe. I wanted to sleep on the dirt. I wanted to hunt for my food. I wanted to learn what real gratitude was, not some shit I wrote in a gratitude journal because it sounded cool on fucking paper. I had a to-do list. I wanted to know what real gratitude was, getting up and realizing that a small little portion of fucking meat like that was amazing because it took me four hours just to get a chance. And that it was a gift from a tribe that was could have fed their family, but they fed me instead. That was gratitude I wanted to experience. What do you want to experience for real? Got to be up with the aboriginals. See time before man fucked it up 50,000 years ago. Feed an entire village that day. Straight up avatar shit. You can't write this crap. It happened. Been there. Got pictures to prove it. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe it myself. Here's to the days of peace and nights of pleasure. Hey, fucking man to that. Better yet, here's to pleasure all day long and peace 24 hours a day. Why not, Miriam? Oh my gosh, you are so real and I love it. Thank you, Ann. I'm doing my best. Robin, it's time. Yep, it is. We should do all this together. Yep, I agree. Christina, I know that I'm a better person than, than me that is showing up. A fucking man. Way to own that. Whew. Man, that is balls ass. I am super honored that you had the balls to say that. I know that I'm a better person than I'm showing up. Yep. I hold me back. It ain't the world holding you back. It ain't Facebook. It ain't Instagram. It ain't your content ad. It isn't your pitch. It isn't your clothes. Bullshit. It's you. 
Because if you showed up as you, everybody who is aligned with that beautiful fucking person inside that you already are will naturally show up. I know a little bit about the law of attraction. I got two goddamn films about it with all the great fucking leaders this year. You all know about it with Beyond the Secret. And uh, by the way, I'm seeing Beyond the Secret in 72 hours, the new version. And how thoughts become things. It's all the greats. We're all together. I happen to be the honor to be one of them now. And I'm going, hey, law of attraction isn't just think if you show up. Verified my life coming to an end and never seeing myself full potential. Whew. I'm hearing a lot of that from you, fam. This is a great time to look in it. Let's dive in the dark. Let's do it. You learn from all your failures, assuming that they're failures. I agree, Aaron. Absolutely loving this. It makes me want to go jump on my notes and dive in deeper. Why not? Look at it with a different fresh set of eyes. Every time you do the jump, every time you look at it, you'll see it differently because it unwinds shit and opens you more and more and more vulnerable you become. The more open you become, the more you see. You see where your eyes don't see. Chelsea, this is amazing. Travis, thanks for hitting the raw spots for sure. You're quite welcome. Thank you for listening. Thanks for sticking around on a Thursday evening. I know it's not failure. It's finding another way that does, that, that does work. Amen, Aaron. Booyah. Letting go. Our fear of death of the ego, which is the second death. All architects know they have to go through it. It ain't easy. <clears throat> not, that's why not everybody's an architect. I, I have a passion and a mission to help as many people um, overcome and facilitate a uh, uh, Come overcome flirty issues that I have naturally. Am I reading that right? Now? Oh, fertility. I think that's fertility issues. I see myself taking on stages all over the world and impacting lives forever on the level of success that terrifies me. So start with a small stage and start small and with the impact of lives you can't control. Just be you. That's impact enough, is it not? You don't have to gauge whether you impact their life. Just be you. That's impact enough. Just my opinion. Thanks for sharing. Haley, thanks for your insights. You're welcome. Paul, I thought I was afraid of failure and I found out that failure was my comfort zone. Amen. I'm afraid of the power I have just under the service and being open and vulnerable and sharing things are scary. Nailed it on the head, brother. It ain't our fear of failure. Matter of fact, I'm going to be doing a, a go live tomorrow. Uh, I have a whole program that I've, I haven't released ever that I'll be releasing out into the world. And yes, this one's a paid one. Sorry, family. But it's called the, the Keys to Fear. It's the 21 top keys to fear and the three biggest areas of fear, communication, trust, and unconditional love. And they go deep, deep, deep down fucking rabbit holes. But I'll be talking about one of those fears tomorrow. It's free. Doesn't cost you anything. You'll see it on YouTube or over on Facebook Live. Right? Paul, thanks for sharing. I think that is super vulnerable. And I'm right there with you, brother. If you need anything from me, call. Hey, Britt, I'm afraid. To sing and dance and be silly and truly am because of the darkness when he judges me and tells me I'm not worthy of being truly am. Or someone might judge you. You don't dance cool. You don't have the hip dance. You're too white. You're too black. You're too yellow. You're too tall. You're too short. Your breasts aren't big enough. Your breasts are too small enough. You don't have big enough arms or big enough shoulders, enough hair on your face. Oh, just fucking dance like nobody's watching, baby. Get it on. Turn on the fucking music and dance with that beautiful husband and you have and beautiful fucking child you have and ginger your ass off. And while you're at it, go live and just fucking do it. Put yourself in uncomfortability. And if nobody watches or 1 billion people watch, who cares? You are allowing yourself to just be. That is the invitation of your heart. I double dog dare you, Gingies. Do it. Do it. Thanks for sharing. If chief is saying that speaking from your heart, imagine what it is. Click on the link. It costs you nothing. Zero, not a zip. Yep. What would it like? What would it be like to feel? Amen. To live by your heart says not by your asshole hypnotist, <laughs> your mind, Amen. or by your asshole. <laughs> I'm scared that I'm powerful beyond measure. Then it overwhelms and paralyzes me sometimes. Yep. Why, oh, why are you all saying, but I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an online entrepreneur. Okay. I'm an magic representative. I'm an ace econ. I'm over in uh, ace book. I'm in legion. I'm a this, I'm a that. You are fucking full of shit. Just own it. Just own it. We're an unprecedented conduct of times. People, nobody. There ain't one person on the planet right now who's been here before. Not a single fucking body. No, not one. No one. All 7 billion people on the planet right now, this is a new fucking experience. What a beautiful time to invite them to fucking reframe their life. But it isn't telling them what to do. It's us doing it. I'm so done with you fucking fake ass coaches. Knock it the fuck off. I'm not talking about leadership. I'm not talking about something. I'm talking about just open up. Hey, I'm scared shitless. Yes, I'm trapped up in the mountains in fucking Utah. Utah? 
Me? I'm a California kid. I grew up in fucking Japan and Germany. I'm a world traveler. You guys know I'm all over the fucking place making sure it's gone. I'm in Utah. What a perfect place. Can't run. Can't go anywhere. Trapped by mountains in the most beautiful way. Darkness comes for us all. You carry it within you. It's a beautiful place to die. It's not as scary as you think. What scares us is the fear of staying in our mediocrity, staying in the fear of hope, staying in the fear of I keep doing the same shit, it'll all go back to normal. But you didn't like normal, that's why you left. So what the fuck are you talking about? Scared you're going to miss your life. Live it right now. Right now, you've been given a free hall pass. Mother Nature has given us all a chance to reset the button before she fucks us up. Because remember, she's queen shit on Turd Island. She runs this show. It ain't us. Mother Nature revolts, man. I was, I was in the volcano in the Philippines when it happened. I got hailed on today. There was an earthquake in Salt Lake City two days. The day was a day ago. My days are blending. Day ago. The mom's pissed. She's giving us warnings. It's time to go home. Each and every one of us has the invitation of a lifetime right now. Ace community can be the leaders, not because we're cool, not because we're hip, not because we're online entrepreneurs, because we understand there's something bigger than ourselves and we all are ready to face the fear of not living our lives fucking 100%, absolutely facing our fears, diving into the darkness and living our asses off because this virus has reminded us we all go down. This virus doesn't care. It kills indiscriminately. It now kills the young. It ain't the old. It kills everybody. So if you're not strong in here in the immunity of who you are, and I mean emotionally, psychologically, energetically, your immune system, yeah, might be a hell of a wake-up call. Uh, tomorrow, be, I'll be releasing for free over on YouTube and Facebook an immunity meditation program. It's the first time I've released something in over a year. As you know, most of it is in the back end of ACE. Everybody in the world can have it. So those of you who are afraid to live, I'm doing it too. I finally said, Travis, get off your fucking ass. Start fucking doing it. Give away the gift that you know you have. Give away the gift that people need, whatever it is. I'm not saying they need Travis Fox, but whatever that gift is, whether it's immunity, whether it's facing the fears, whether it's underwinding their mind, whether it's coming back to peace, whatever it is, the system that ACE is founded on impartiality, which is the architectural journey, give it away. I'm doing it too, fam. I'm not doing it because I'm cool or because I'm a co-founder or I'm a CEO or as Brian and Brandon say, I'm the old guy. Fuck, I'm younger than those two old farts. I'm 49 years young. I'm on the back nine of my life and I don't give a flying fuck how I look, how I sound. I don't care about judging me anymore. I don't give a shit. Male, female, gay, straight, married, divorced, fucking whatever. Don't matter. All that matters is you got heart. You got heart, I'm in. You willing to dive in the darkness? I'll go with you. You want to go live your dreams? Fuck yeah, I'm on the adventure of a lifetime because it's all an adventure and you're going to give this beautiful body back to the theme park of life whether you like it or not. Isn't it time we dive into the darkness, family? Start. Just got to jump. You got to jump into your life. You got to jump into the decision. You got to jump into ACE. You got to jump out of your bullshit. You got to jump in the shower. You got to jump in whatever. You have to jump. Yeah, Jessica, that's a great idea. Gingies, you should have a dance party and we'll dance with you. Fuck it. Why not? Just be. Perfect statement. Thank you. That's why it's called Architect of Being. Just dance. You bet, Gary. Good to see you, brother. Long time no see. I'm a entrepreneur. Yep. By the way, I trademarked that word for those of you who don't know that. Mm -hmm. Afraid of going into deeper layers of the core of who I am and those feelings of desperation of uncertainty. And yet they are already there, Gabby. They're there all along. They are the shadow subconscious that's really running the show. They are the demons that we carry around. They're not out here. Those are just reflections of what's going on inside. That's the invitation for us to say, hey, isn't it time we stop carrying this shit around? Isn't it time we look at it? Way to share that. Super awesome, Gabby. Dive in. Miriam, wow, we are the ones that get to be real and invite others to do the same. Who gives a shit? You don't have to invite anybody. Just be it. They'll, they'll naturally ask you. I promise you, family, I've been doing this for 30 years. It's the only thing I'm great at. Everything else I'm probably good at, but I'm great at this. And I know that I am. Not from an arrogant point of view, but because it has been my life's passion. This is what I love. This is Travis. 24 hours a day. Eat, eat, sleep, walk, talk, shoot shit. This is interesting to me. What a gorgeous time for the ace and for the architects to rise. 
rise up, lead by being. Get all the sleep you need when you're dead. Fuck Netflix. You can't watch all the movies anyways. <laughs> no offense, Netflix. We must break through the darkness and see the light. There's nothing to break through the darkness. Just see it. One doesn't exist without the other. They are the same. It's all an extension of love, family. One day you'll arrive at it. It's in the jump. You'll figure it out. Just God. I use the words today. Uh, use the words that Travis and said to my husband. Um, this is happening for us and not to us. Grateful as fuck. This shift was absolutely amazing. I embrace it wholeheartedly. Thank you, Jessica. That's very kind. Thanks for owning it. Thanks for saying it. And you're right. It's happening for us. It's for us all to reset. Robin, we've been we've been a parasite of the earth. Yep. Amen to that. Face the man in the mirror. Amen. Michael Jackson said it best. Man in the mirror is where you change, boys and girls. Me too, Jess. I'm so excited for what's to come. Yeah. Don't fall in to the rah-rah. Don't fall into the fake bullshit of distraction. Don't fall into, doggone it, I'm going to make it all better tomorrow. I'm going to get refired up because this is motivational, Travis. Yeah, I'm a motivational speaker too, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about truly diving in. Do it now. you got nothing but time. And if you don't have time, then you're full of doing. Just saying, fam. Okay, any last questions? You guys are awesome. I was 10 minutes late, so I've run to 10 minutes here. You've all stayed with me. It's very kind. I really appreciate it. Um, if you think this is worthy of anybody's time, you think that you got some value of it, share the link. Make them watch it inside the ACE community. Invite them. If you want to share that link, it's yours. Take it. Give it to everyone. I'll pop it back in here again just so everybody has it. There it is. Okay? Give it away. Don't care. Okay? I can't take it with me. Architects know that. Ace, you know it too. This hole that's mine. It's already copywritten. I don't care. Give it away. Give real value. Don't do rah-rah shit. Show them who you are. Show them it's okay to be vulnerable. Show them it's okay to be scared. If I've done that with you, then you can do it. Can I go further? Oh, fuck yeah. But I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole. Only because if I go down the rabbit hole, <laughs> not everybody can hang down there. It's a step-by-step -step process. It took you a long time to, to create the rabbit hole. It might take you a couple days to unwind it. But if you want to go down the rabbit hole, I'll be around. It's what I'm interested in. It's what it's all about. I'm grateful for all of you. Thanks for letting me just yak away. Hopefully it's been some value to you. If not, thanks for listening. Tina, you're very welcome. Hi, Danielle. Love you too, sweetie. Long time no see. You're welcome, Sala. You're welcome, Gingies. Dance your ass off. Do a watch party. Lead the way. Invite us all. Just more. Huge fire. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. You guys are all welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be safe. Be smart. Live your ass off, family. You ain't getting out alive. And we all know that now. So let's go live our asses off. Let's take care of each other. Love and appreciate everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.